we, uh, we finish. We finish with news from a disappointing night for the Impressionists um, at Sotheby's. They had an auction, <coughs> Impressionism versus Modern Artists, uh, another riveting late second millennium derby. If you uh, don't know what's coming, <laughs> but, uh, you're in for a very, very tricky three to 67 minutes. So, um, some of the top impressionists like Edgar Degas and Edouard Manet failed to hit top form and end up uh, sulking and unsold on the bench at the end of the auction. And the surrealist manager, Giuseppe Lipsicci, uh, did not spare his star players from criticism. He said Edgar and Edouard are big stars, but they've got to f***ing produce on the biggest stage. When the likes of René Magritte are shifting surrealist shit for 27 mil, you've got to respond with something a bit more inventive than another f***ing duck pond. Um, <laughs> so take that, Monet. Now, um... Uh, but actually, I'd, um, you wouldn't believe this, but um, <laughs> I've actually got a... You wouldn't. I've got a friend who's a modern artist. Uh, he's obsessed with it. And his work spans many of the leading genres of modern art from the late 19th century onwards. And uh, once he was actually doing a painting of roosting birds in a kind of uh, Vincent van Gogh style. And um, uh, he asked me if he could help him out by sourcing, buying, and then sending him um, some of the, the things that the birds uh, roosted in. And he specifically of, of German birds from the 19th century. Uh, he wanted me to post impression nests. Post, post impression nests? Oh. <laughs> anyway, he went to see... The uh, bow is so long. It's so <laughs> long. He went to see an exhibition of Picasso and George Brack paintings. He told me he was so excited, he camped outside the gallery for three days to make sure he got in. He was South African, my friend. He said, uh, Andy, it's the longest I've ever waited in line for anything. I set a new personal cubist. 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 <laughs> Can I just point out, I know for a fact you have family from South Africa, <laughs> and that accent was worse than Leonardo DiCaprio's <laughs> in Blood Diamonds. <laughs> anyway, he started wearing fake T-shirts, or as he called them, fauvists. <laughs> um, he opened a new gallery. I said, didn't many people come in? He said, uh, there weren't many locals, but a few tourists. A few tourists. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Uh, and he got parasites in his hair from all the strain. He treated it by buying a very expensive hat. I said, well, well, well how is that going to get rid of them? And he said, well, it's 99% psychological. You have to uh, make them so uh, overwhelmed by what an, amazing an amazingly stylish person you are that they leave your head. You've got to impress your nits. Impress your nits. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote this huge, great essay ranting about how six-packs are overrated. He called it his abstract. <laughs> Anyway, he was, uh, I told him that um, his favourite half of an all-Jewish singer-songwriter duo had met a revolutionary 19th century battlefield nurse. He said, what, you're saying Garfunkel met Nightingale? He said, yeah, well, Art New Flow. <laughs> anyway, he told that... Oh, this, this, ru stop? this run is the end of art. I told him... <laughs> Um, he told me that next year, ten months from now, two leading Tories are going to have an old-fashioned pistol fight to the death at dawn. And it's going to be broadcast on a radio station specialising in low-quality pop music. I said, let me make a note of that using abbreviations to save time. Now, where are we now? November. OK. Conceptual heart. Conceptual art? Concept... <laughs> I mean... OK, fair point. Uh, but, uh, he was, now uh, you take their feelings on he board. He was... Uh, he was obsessed with creatures with no legs. He had loads in his collection, some aquatic, some reptilian, but he got confused about which was which. I can't tell them apart, Andy. I, uh, I know some are snakes. I'll write those ones down, and I'll write down the ones that I know for, sh uh, for definite are fish. Good idea, I said. Make a surreal list. Surreal list. Oh! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> <Da -da. laughs> <laughs> Uh, I t I actually, uh, I, I, I tested many of these on my dog and my wife. I didn't get any uh, laughs from the missus, but I got a few bow wows. Bow wows. <laughs> actually, anyway, to, to finish, my friend he gave up art, went into acting. He got, a, got cast on an advert for uh, Rice Krispies. He rang me up, very excited, said, I didn't get the role of Snap. They passed me over for Crackle, but don't tell me, I said, they gave you the pop part. Pop part. <laughs> And don't forget, don't forget, Friday, the 16th of November, is the International Day for Tolerance. 